Hello guys, welcome back. Many of us are using Jenkins to automate CI CD and use pipeline script to achieve it. Today in this video, I'll show you how we can build and deploy multi branches from a single repository using multi branch pipeline. So let's start. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now. Before we proceed and set up the multi branch pipeline in Jenkins, let's have a look on the multi branch pipeline in detail. So, what is multi branch pipeline? The multi branch pipeline is a concept of automatically creating Jenkins pipelines based on Git branches. It can automatically discover new branches in the source control that is GitHub and automatically create a pipeline for that branch. When the pipeline build starts, Jenkins uses Jenkins file in that branch for build stages. Suppose in this feature branches and this particular feature branches, this particular Jenkins file will be used, right? Suppose we are going to build for feature two, then feature two Jenkins file will be used. So in multi-branch pipeline, it supports PR-based branch discovery, meaning branches get discovered automatically in the pipeline if someone raises a pull request from a branch so if someone raises a pull request from the git in the particular branch and that particular branch will get discovered by the multi branch pipeline in the jenkins and you can just work on that why to use multi branch pipeline the main advantage of using a multi branch pipeline is to build and deploy multiple branches from a single repository. Having a multi branch pipeline also allows you to have different environments from different branches. If you see this diagram here, we have release branch, we have dev branch, we have staging branch, suppose. Suppose you want to work on the development platform, you can go with the dev branch and start building your project, right? Similarly, if you're working on the staging branches, you can just work on the Jenkins file of that particular branch and start working. Right, so let's go to Denkin and do the setups and see how we can achieve this multi branch pipeline and build the things, build the jobs as per our requirement. So, let's connect to your Jenkins server. So, you have to go to your new item here, just give a name. Suppose I'll give as a pipeline multi branch demo okay i'll give us multi-branch demo now let's go ahead and here you have to select this multi-branch pipeline select this multi-branch pipeline press ok and here what we have to do we have to do some wild cult setups okay so if you want to give a name to it display name so you can just give it uh, the name suppose i'll give us a multi-branch pipeline demo something like this and descriptions as per your so branch sources from where from which repository or resource code management you are using suppose i'm using git so give the repository name so the project repository let me get it from my github account so and uh, if i go to my repository here i'll have multiple projects so i'm going to select one project which uh, i can show you suppose this devops wave right and here we have multiple branches right if you see here i have 23 branches available here but i don't need all branches to be there to be executed i don't need all branches to be there so if i just select it here you can see i have multiple dev branches uh, devops branches feature branches and uh, test branches and all these things test and all these things right suppose let me just go ahead and set up let's first clone this one copy this url and go to here and paste it as it is public it will not ask for any credentials so let's go ahead and discover branches the behavior how you would like to discover the branches right so just uh, what you can do you can so select as filter by name the so wild with wildcard right filter and here if i give star means everything all the branches whatever available of this particular repository right all 23 branches will get discovered automatically and displayed to that so suppose i uh as per this suppose if you have here 
uh, dev branches and devops branches and feature branches right suppose i just want to work with and build the devops branches alone so what i can do here search here just give white cult called uh, devops and uh, star right devops and star okay so all branches get the same properties that's fine and properties by uh, uh, build configurations and mode by jenkins file and the rest of things as it is uh, no need uh, for everything okay now let's go ahead and save it go ahead and save it as soon as you save one job will run that scan multi-branch pipeline log you can see here so it is automatically scanning the GitHub repository is automatically scanning the GitHub repository and as per the pattern we put it there, right? The wildcards like DevOps star. So it will find it out all the DevOps star branches. So if I go here and it's still running, so it is success, right? Now if I go to the job, right? If I go to the dashboard and I, if I go to this particular job, see multi-branch pipeline job, right? We can see here the icon looks like this. If I just go ahead and uh, click it, so click this one and see here, we have four branches and four individual jobs has been created for this pipeline job, right? Four. So if suppose four people are working, and these are two people are working two different th things and two features, or four people are working that. Suppose I am working on this 1.4 B8, so I'll focus on the 1.4 B8 only. So if there is any changes required for this particular job, I can do modify the Jenkins file of this branch alone. So it will not impact to the other branches, whoever my fellow companion will be working, right? Suppose if you are working on different uh, staging, right? Different uh, part of the like development or staging, you can just have work that. Okay, suppose if I just go here and you can see here, uh, I have uh, multiple other branches also there, right? Suppose feature branches. And suppose I just want to get all these feature branches also there. So I, how I can do that? You can simply go ahead and just click on this configure here. And uh, the wildcard section, right? In the wildcard section, we can just uh, add here. Uh, we had only DevOps there, right? So what we can do, we can add further DevOps start. Now we can add feature start here. Feature start. Now let's save this one. So you can see here. Now, as soon as you save this one, it will scan again the pipeline and it will find as for the criteria, as for the white color setup, it also finds feature, right? Feature start, feature and DevOps. Now, let's go ahead and it's success, right? It found all the branches. If I go to the dashboard and check uh, the multi branch pipeline demo job and see, we have all the branches have been identified automatically by the jenkins see this is how the jenkins multi-branch pipeline is useful in order to work on multiple branches simultaneously for different roles different uh, environment right and uh, any changes you need you can just go ahead and modify that to the wildcard in, in k2 suppose there are multiple things and you can just suppose i want to execute this particular branch you can just build it here so that this particular branch will only be executed, not rest of the things. This is how we have to work on it. Hope you understood clearly how the multi-branch pipeline can do setup and what is the benefit of using it. If you have any doubt or anything, please do comment me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your queries. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when I add more such videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you.